Hello, everybody. The Lawn Gnome is here. Holy fuck, Knuckles. I am high as a kite right now. So here we are, everybody. We're here to discuss the movie that features our favorite Merc with the Mouth in his extremely anticipated sequel. That, of course, is Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool 2. So, of course, me, like everybody else, was extremely excited to see this great comic book character come back to the big screen, especially after an extremely successful first film. This movie, based on its trailers, was probably one of the most ingenious advertising campaigns that you could actually see. First, it had nothing to do with the movie, and then they started, of course, bringing in some elements of the movie, like Josh Brolin as Cable and ZZ Betts is Domino, as well as introducing us a possible franchise with a brand new X-Team, which of course was one of my favorite X teams in all of comic book history. They were extremely popular in the 90s, and that, of course, was X Force. I am not going to say that this is a bad movie. I'm definitely going to say that for me, especially as someone who adores this character portrayal from Ryan Reynolds, as someone who absolutely loves the first film, this movie did not live up to the original as best as I would have liked it to. Once again, it's not a bad movie by a long shot. There are some great comic book references, so many great pop culture references, so many amazing meta moments, some very good characters, so many guest appearances from comic book characters that I never would have even dreamed of actually seeing in this movie, but we got them all and it was glorious. Also, what I did like was the fact that they said that this was going to be a family film and not a love story like the first one, and they definitely explained that to a great degree. But as a whole, especially when you compare it to the flow and the plot of the first film, this one just didn't seem to match up as much as I would have liked it to. I found Deadpool to be more annoying than I thought he was going to be. I mean, yes, he has some pretty annoying moments in the first one, but they're done in very good taste. Also, you have a lot of the returning cast, including Morena Baccarin and Leslie Uggams, as well as T.J. Miller, and, of course, the character Dop Hinder, who everybody loves. But for some reason, they really didn't seem to be as enjoyable on screen as they did in the first one. There were just some lines that I really didn't catch on to. There were also some moments in the film that I just was trying to understand what are they doing here. They don't really fit. Also, some of the stuff that they did in the film just seemed to drag on a little bit, and it was sort of like the movie was trying to say that, yeah, they're not really the most significant characters as they used to be, so we're not really going to give them the best screen time as you would like. But in terms of some of the new characters that they've introduced to us, we have ZZ Betts as Domino, as well as Josh Brolin as Cable. Now, I've got to say, Cable is one of my all-time favorite comic book characters, and Josh Brolin did not disappoint. He gave me the film cable that I wanted. He doesn't say much. He's a man of action. He carries the big guns. They don't really give us too much of his backstory, but I'm pretty certain that we're going to get more in future films because this movie definitely opens up, if not a Deadpool 3, definitely a Cable movie or an X-Force movie, which I would love to see, but he did a fantastic job, and now that he is two major characters in all of the Marvel multiverse films, if you will, I'm so glad that he is here. ZZ Betts as Domino, I didn't really know what I was going to expect from her because I really don't know who she is, but Domino is also one of those characters that is a great mystery in the world of comics even though her story has been revealed a little over the years, I really liked her character. She was funny, she was witty, she was a perfect match to Deadpool, and her acting was also fantastic. But then there's also the other new character, Fire Fist, who is played by this actor, Julian Dennison. He's another reason why I really didn't care much for a good chunk of this movie. I didn't really care for this character. I found him annoying, if anything. Even though he was one of the main plot points of the story, especially for Cable's character, I just didn't care for him. But I don't really know what's going to happen now with Deadpool, now that the sequel has been done. Will there be a Deadpool 3? Probably. I definitely think that this movie will make the money needed to make a third film, and Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool, yeah, I really would like to see him in more movies because he really has 
turned this character into his baby. He really embodies Deadpool, and he does such a fantastic job no matter what he is doing as long as he is playing Deadpool. But I'm not saying that this is a bad movie. It sounds like it, guys, but this is an enjoyable film. For me as a whole, it just didn't match up to its predecessor, but it is fun. You will laugh. As a comic book fan, especially as an X-Men fan, there's so much to enjoy and just fanboy or fangirl over so much that you might make a mess in the movie theater. But this is a fun film. I'm so glad that I saw it. It's a movie that I would totally see again. And of course, it's a movie that I want to add to my DVD collection because it is fun. It's not as great as the first one for me, but it is fun. So see Deadpool 2, especially if you want a great time at the movies. Just beware, it's not going to hold anything back, as it shouldn't. And I'm going to be giving Deadpool 2 a strong three stars out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss Deadpool 2, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.